Hello my fellow Dream Chasers, Kenzie Retro here, back with more Breaking Point. Chapter 7, we're at the start of a new season. It's 2021, a new season and the possibility of a fresh start for Casper Ackerman and Aston Martin. Following the unceremonious end to the team's chances in the 2020 season, uh, roll the footage. It's clear from anyone watching, either in the stands or at home, the determination on show from Racing Point and Aiden Jackson. We go into the stadium today. section. Uh, you're not wrong there, and the performance has improved race by race throughout the season, and his driving today impeccable. Here's a test room now, though, as they head down the main straight. There's a lot of friction between these two, and his teammates after him. Will he budge? Hold position, Aiden. Oh, I've never seen anything like this on a racetrack before. There's the theme. Oh no! No, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, that's what happened last time. Both driver and team are looking to deliver a strong start at the season opener in Melbourne, Australian Grand Prix, Q3. See what's in my emails. Yada yada yada. Oh, Zoe. Zoe, hey. Morning, Daddy. Lily, uh, you know it's not. Oh my what? what? Mummy says you're on the other side of the world. <laughs> and that's right. Daddy is in Australia. I'm upside down. Then why don't the cars fall? <laughs> Mummy can explain that. Uh, can I speak to her? Don't fall off, Daddy. I won't, Lily. Promise. Oh, that is adorable. Hey, I'm not so good, huh? Yeah, they sent me out first. Again? Yeah. Well, some of your best races were coming from midfield. Yeah? Yeah. Besides, I thought you loved a challenge. Lils, off the table. Now. It's breakfast time. I should go. Sure. You'll be great. You always are. Love ya. Love you too. Oh, look as Weber catching up on us. Okay. Now. Let's get let's get started. Here we go. With tensions from last year looking set to continue into this season, Casper Ackman pushes onwards during the inaugural race of the 2021 championship. The Australian Grand Prix mid race. Here we go. Shane Grand Prix. Six laps to go. Ah, gearbox, no! Oh, I've got a gearbox issue. No, that's the last thing we needed. Ah! Finish the race while managing a fault. I'm gonna drop positions. Ah, that is not healthy. What I would have done is swallowed my pride and um, taken the gearbox penalty. Right, there's Gasly ahead of me. There you go, DRS. Oh, that is such an easy. Oh yeah, because I because I've got one less gear to uh, work with. Nevertheless, I'm in the points. Ah. And the gearbox is just fresh as well. Right, we've got Alonso next. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Ooh. 
Okay, let's check race director a couple of things. Then let's see who's out of the race. Oh, the scumbags behind me! Lord! Yeah. Alrighty then. So the Red Bulls are ahead of Mercedes. Oh, uh, what else is new? Right, nevertheless. Oh, I've got my teammate ahead of me as well. Ah! Can I catch them before the end of the race? Check my assist coming to think of it. I might have an assist. Um, yeah, we're fine. Oh, and I wasn't in the DRS detection zone. That means I'm not going to have DRS and watch him start to pull ever so slightly away. Late send, that's brave! And he's through. Now I've got Jackson to negotiate. Let's go. Come on. Just don't let the tension get to you. laps to go. Doubt I'm going to catch Danny Rick. Eh, you never know. Although in seeing that at the rate I'm catching them, it could happen. I said it could. Not saying it will. Leclerc's on the hards, Ricardo's on the mediums. Ricardo, Leclerc's doing well to hold Ricardo up, so that's... Could work in my favour. And Ricardo's got himself ahead, not quite. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to be catching them. Whoa! Wait just a- WAIT JUST A MINUTE! HELLO! <clears throat> a potential P6 on the cards? Ooh, come to Casper! Now this is interesting, the fact that we're, we've switched from Aiden Jackson's perspective to Casper Ackman's. Not sure if I needed that. By Jove, I've already caught up with them. Purple Sector 1 as well. Let's go! Oh. Is someone able to fix my gearbox? The scenes if I get past these two. The scenes 
if I get past these two. I might actually do it here. Oh my word, I might actually do it here. Now, considering I was like P11, P12, roughly. Okay, I'm in DRS range of Ricardo. Oh, I just realized I could have gone for the fastest lap. Oh, he's got them both. He's got them both in sight. There goes Leclerc. Now he just needs Ricardo. Super Max wins the race. But here comes Ackerman. Oh, my word, he's done it. It's a very late send, but he's only gone and done it. Casper Ackerman. What a recovery drive, despite the gearbox issues. P6. To showcasing some incredible driving. There's been a huge push from them lately to stay competitive with the other teams, and they're certainly proving themselves. Here we go, post race. So much for a fresh start. Mechanical issues hamstring Ackerman at the Australian Grand Prix as his bad luck from the previous season continues. I know how that feels! Let's collect my rewards. Another 500 XP. So yeah. Um, all going to plan, I might be able to get to prestige level 5. Which will require another... Probably another like 60,000, if that. Just need to start grinding away. Looking to bounce back after the frustrations of the Australian Grand Prix, Casper Ackerman and Aston Martin are eager to find stability in Sakia. But as the race goes on, 
it becomes clear that his tie wear is reaching critical levels. Oh no. Oh no. This doesn't bode well. So they pit Jackson first, even though he's a lap down. Really? Oh, that is an absolute joke. That's on you, Jeff. That's on you. You pitted Jackson first, and he's a lap down. Five laps to go. Six if we include the one I'm on right now. At least the scumbag Devin Butler's behind me. So there's that, I suppose. So that's P10. Five to go. Let's get P. F Let's get P9. I need to get into P8 or above, which requires getting ahead of Ricardo. And uh, hey, hey, Yuki Sonoda. Oh, that's Latifi. There's Sonoda, that's where I need to be. No, that's Jackson ahead of me! Ah, I get it, he was a lap down, but... Come on, P18! And you still have the goal to bring him in first before me. That wasn't supposed to happen. That's 
what happens when you that's what happens when you come in before me. Apart from that, that's what I wanted to do to Jackson as well. That's what I wanted to do to Mazepin as well. Casper's probably fixed. Aiden's probably fixed himself. What the hell, Casper? Ah, Sonoda. Got much more acceleration than you, Sonoda. Just get out of my way! Right, P7. Can I catch Perez now? Can I catch signs as well? And lo and behold, I've got the fastest lap of the race as well. Happy days! Stay out of my way. Alrighty then. Nah. Whoa.
Ah! Late. And Bottas with the win. No way. No way, again, last corner, again, last corner! Nope, that simply will not do! No way, he's done it again! He's only gone and done it again! Once again, after an excellent race weekend, it's great to see them up on that podium once again. Just missing out on the podium, but I'll take it. Hey, hey, So here we go. While the incident in the pits may have cost Ask Ackerman some places, he got up to P4! He managed to claw them back and deliver a respectable finish for himself and Aston Martin at the Bahrain Grand Prix. I just don't get it, Sony. He gets to pit ahead of me, and they give his car the only new power unit last season, and he gets to go out behind me and qualify. <sighs> this kid is a new number one driver. I don't believe that to be true. Well, then why does he get paid more? You're still upset about that. No. Well, I, I don't know, maybe. I just wish I never found out. It's not the money, though, is it? I'm old. You're not old. Like this again, I... I am old for a driver. I'm old. Come on, this is your last season. You said you'd make a catch. I still need to tell them. Well, will you? Soon. Okay. Well, in the meantime, forget about Jackson. Okay. And stop playing the victim. It doesn't suit you. All right, okay. It's Sam vote next, remember? Everyone's going to be rooting for you. Be the guy they love. Zanvort? Ooh, what? goody. Be the guy I love. Well, that's, that's cute. Did you come up with that yourself? I'm a natural born drama. Mm. <sighs> yeah. that has got nothing on me. You had to ruin it.
was a stretch if we all agree all together. <laughs> Alright, here we here we go. Seven hundred and fifty EXP. Now, on to the next chapter. Chapter 9. Mechanical failures and team strategy frustrations have impacted Ackerman's early races. With the grid now heading to Zandvoort in Ackerman's native country of the Netherlands, he's hoping that a return home will be, be, will be the panacea to his recent struggles. The Dutch Grand Prix several weeks later. So, here we go. With the family in the crowd, Casper Ackerman looks to a familiar track to turn around his fortunes. He must have raced here in years previously. Not in F1, obviously, because this is the first time the Dutch Grand Prix has been hosted here since 1985. First Dutch Grand Prix since 85. 25% race distance, no formation lap. Finish on the podium. That's my goal today, finish on the podium. And what a start there from Ackerman. Already up into P5, P6, soon to be P5. He gets himself ahead of Bottas. That is an incredible start he's had. He's still got Bottas alongside him. It's going to be very careful. Very steep here at turn four, but he gets through and he's there. And Bottas still side by side with him, but nope. Gonna have to work harder than that to get past him, Sonny boy. Who's he got past? Lando! What's this? Money. Hamilton ahead of the Supermax? Wow, well, it's just made things a lot more interesting. Eight, not eight ten. There he goes, Supermax. You do not do that to a veteran. Just for that. Oh snap, I've just realized I'm going to need to change, repair my front wing. It's uh, two and a half minutes to five, four laps, eight, ten, twenty. Yeah, but you're probably looking about. Probably looking at about 25 minutes.
This is going to be a really tough track to overtake on. Through with a 114.6, a new fastest lap. Now to start pulling away. Let me look at that. I'm three seconds ahead of a compatriot. Oh, of course, because I need to change my front wing as well. So, 2.7. I still stay ahead. So I only lost about 20 seconds. Yeah, yeah, you're looking about 15 seconds. Someone, someone's been clever with the programming. They took the time. You're looking at 14, 15 seconds roughly. Yeah. Someone took the, uh, someone took the nose change time into account. So here we go. His first win in Aston Martin colours. The first race back at the Dutch Grand Prix since 1985 at this circuit. Nicky Lauda won the last race at this circuit. But today, with just a couple of corners to go, Casper Ackerman has become Super Cast today. He's coming across the line and he wins the Dutch Grand Prix. it was to see them earn the top spot. Casper Ackerman put on a virtuoso performance at the Dutch Grand Prix with a win in front of his home fans. Not a podium finish. A win. Hey, man. Great race today. Thanks. Hey, Will Buxton! Nice one, Casper. <laughs> Can't argue with that performance. I want to punch his face off the grid Forever. Kid is getting signed by Mercedes. So they say. Never gonna happen. Well, can you keep a secret? Yeah, sure. I've been approached. Really? Yeah. Well, congratulations. Keep it under your hat, but uh, talks are going well. So you're gonna have to get on with Jackson for a little while longer. Yeah, well, we get on fine. That's not what I heard. No? I was chatting with one of your mechanics. He had some very interesting things to say about Jackson. Don't oh, believe a word he says. Go on. Thinks you're getting too old. Says you're not fast enough anymore. Too old? <laughs> hey, mate, his words, not mine. You want my advice? Prove him wrong. Nah, 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 nah. Shut up, Devin! 
or I'll punch you off. that just has the most punchable face in all of F1. Mazepin, a very close second. Hey. Hey, Lily's dancing in the garage. It's hilarious. Can you come? Just catching up on a few things. Sure. Hey, I, I booked us a restaurant for tonight. What about Lily? Your mother's happy to take care of her. Great, then I can't wait. Reason to celebrate, right? Yeah, thanks, Owen. See you later. Bye. Yeah? Casper, I missed you just now. What do you want? I just wanted to say congratulations for today. That was some race. I'm busy, Aiden. Oh, sure. Um, bye. Still tension between them. Alrighty then. See what I get on the awards front, rewards front, I should say. A nice tasty 1,000 DXP that will do nicely. So here we go, Midrace, Chapter 10. With several laps remaining, Aston Martin looks to be in a favourable position with both its drivers in the points. Kasper Ackerman continues to push forward, but his teammate Aidan Jackson is continuing to gain ground on him. Canadian Grand Prix. <laughs> this is a finan And here we go with the infamous team orders. The objective simply do not let Jackson pass. Simple as that. That's easy enough. When you have a simple objective like that, just yep, let's go. But my goodness me, this is Germany 2010 all over again. As soon as I heard, as soon as he said, Jackson is faster than you. Oh dear. They're in ninth. 
That confirms he's not faster than me. Again, not faster than me. He's not faster than me. I'm not letting him pass. Okay, I'm not going to be catching Lando at this point. Another thirteen one. We're leading our teammate by zero point seven seconds. They're on fresh softs. They're in ninth. The time last lap was He's not faster. I'm not letting him pass. He's net half a second behind me. And you want to know the other big thing now? He's now out of DRS range. He is now out of DRS range. He is not faster. He is not getting ahead. One twelve point four. Gap to teammate behind is one point five seconds. They're on old softs. They're in ninth. The time last lap was a one minute thirteen point two. Eight tenths. Eight tenths, and you want me to let him pass? Lewis wins the race. Not quite enough to get past Lando. But objective completed regardless. You've got to ask yourself what is going on behind the scenes at Aston Martin. This rivalry between the two drivers, it's simply not going away. You wonder 
wonder how many more points they're going to squander. I think Aston Martin have got a real problem here that they need to deal with. I don't know how, but they've got to address it. You think of what happened in Mexico last season. The two drivers took each other out of the race completely. How long before we see a repeat of that? As you so rightly say, Ant, something's clearly not right over there. can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations a real team victory today everybody played their part congratulations then to mercedes your race winners today holding it back you want respect you give respect that's how it works how about you give me a little respect how about you earn it first how am i supposed to do that i'm all ears you give me space out there what's your problem i'm trying to win oh and that makes you special you're a nightmare casper I'm fine. well you won't have to put up with me for much longer. What's that supposed to mean? I am sick and tired of all this. I'm done. You what? I'm retiring. Wait. What? Casper! Casper! What is the bet? It is the most arrogant scumbag with the most punchable face in the world. What's the bet? It is Devon Butler recording that. 